getting him with a foster mother means that he will be able to grow up in a group properly, develop, learn baboon behavior, and that will increase his chance of being released. If we don't do this, or if we can't do this, he will probably develop less socially and might not make it out into, into the wild. So this is extremely important that we do it, and we do it as quickly as we can, so he can be released back into the wild. We don't want Doodle to get nervous. This is perfect. Baboons lip smack to each other when they communicate. It is a positive behavior. So she's excessively lip smacking to him because she wants him to be comfortable. She actually wants him to approach the fence because she's really intrigued by a new baby. She's super duper lip smacking. It's great. His focus and his attention is already going to them. That is extremely positive. Fox is super interested in him, which I'm not surprised by. He needs a playmate. She just doesn't like the whole hectic playing. <laughs> Kezi. Okay, she pushed him away. It's not ideal. I'm gonna try to pull him out. Because if you rush things, animals get frustrated, you can tell. Okay. Down again. 
the truck yet? Yeah, his truck's clear, he's on his left side. We need to get to him. We okay, need to get cool. to him, we need yeah, to get yeah, to yeah, him. Yeah, 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 we will. Sorry, sorry. Stand by, stand yeah, by. Yeah. All right, yeah. man, you just, just let, me, let me know about that tower right up, man. Well, yeah, just make yeah, sure we're we'll good. Okay. We're okay. Seems to be doing okay, hey? Yeah. Yeah. Surprise. Boy, that's gnarly. It's in here. You can see it. Not much, but he seems to be breathing okay, so we're just going to get done and get him out. Yeah. It's kind of a little bit brutal, but... What we've done is we've taken the snare off, we've given him some antibiotics. So we're gonna put some wound spray on here. We're gonna, and then we're gonna wake him up. Craig, are you happy to drive out of here once I reverse him? He's got such baby veins. Gosh, I went straight through it. Okay. We're done, let's go. So getting the snare off that animal, it's great, especially with a young one, then it gives him a much better prognosis for life. And so it lives a happy ending for all. She has her first litter of cubs with her, and even though they are getting older, I think that also plays a role in how skittish she is. Stop, 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 stop. There they are. Oh, okay. Ah, no! They just don't have that much of a shot. A difference of five meters makes all the difference. So they definitely know we're onto them now uh, and they keep moving out of range uh, or going into thick bushes every time we get somewhat close. We're going to hopefully dart a, a young cheetah. It is still considered a cub, but she's almost entirely full grown. She's the only female in the sibling group, so she's quite important for the breeding population of cheetah here in Luwande. So we want to get a collar on her, so that way we can easily follow her. So if you see here, this truck, you know it's a cat because it has three bumps here. One, two, three. The cheetah is the only cat that can't bring its claws back. Okay, so you'll always see the nail there. And that's also because they run fast, they have to have their claws out. Do 
you want to just follow them ahead? You might get some openings there, I don't know. And this is a collar that's been modified here in the park to also have what acts as like a satellite program. And it will give us the GPS location of the animal a few times a day on our computer. Okay, see how you feel about that. I think it feels nice and loose. I don't think she's gonna get anything through her. I mean, she can. So for the cheetah population in Malawi, it's really great that we got the collar on her. She's a very important animal as she's our first female cub. So we'll be able to watch that second generation of cheetah be born here in Malawi and watch our population grow.